Well, good evening, everyone. Welcome back to the channel. So this evening, we're going to do another comparison video since we've kind of um, wrapped up a lot of the funds that we're going to discuss in this series about retiring with a million dollars. Um, so the favorite so far is SVOL. And in this video, I'm going to compare this to the Goff Fund, GOF. Now, the SVOL still uh, holds its weight because it's paying about a 17.5% dividend. But the Goff Fund, or GOF, is paying about a 13.5% dividend, and these tend to fluctuate with the share price of the funds. So we're going to go into that. We'll look at Yahoo Finance. And the good news is I don't have to do any, any live prep work on the spreadsheets since it's already done because I've already gone over these. So let's go ahead and start with Yahoo Finance. And now I will start the screen share here. It's been about three days since I uploaded a video, and uh, my watch hours are certainly feeling it. But it's good to be back. Okay, so on Yahoo Finance, so the Simplified Volatility Premium ETF, which is what SVOL stands for, uh, it actually went up about 1.68% today. And uh, full disclosure, I actually uh, got into some more of this today um, in the Roth IRA. Um, actually, my whole contribution for 2023 went into this fund. So that's how confident I am in this fund. And you'll see, according to Yahoo Finance, it's saying 17.76% in terms of dividend yield, actually 17.79%. And in the after hours trading, the fund is actually up uh, another 13 cents or 0 0.60. When the fund price is low like this, a uh, 10 cent increase can end up being like a half a percent. So, cause this is pretty cheap, relatively speaking, you know, 21.77. And it's actually lower than what it's been trading at because we started the year around almost $23. Actually, it peaked uh, January 24th and 25th at 22.90. That's when the market looked like it was starting to recover. Now, if we go back to 2021 when this fund first started, uh, it was almost $28 a share, but it has dropped since then. The expense ratio is 0.66%. For historical data, I believe, and we've looked over this a lot, but just to show it again for purposes of this video, because some people may only see this video. I mean, hopefully, ideally, you watch all of my videos, but who knows? So we, we got to cover all our bases in this one. And, of course, Yahoo Finance wants to click on options when I said historical data. So let's go here. Dividends only. And we'll go to maximum. Apply. And this one is really pretty consistent. I mean, it's getting a $0.32 cent dividend ever since it started. First dividend it paid out September of 2021. So you can see here, September, October, November, December, January, February, March, April, May, June. Oh, you know what it did? If you go to the website, it did pay that June dividend in 2022, but for some reason it doesn't show it here on Yahoo. Um, but yeah, and then I believe we're actually gonna get our next dividend coming up here in a few days for the month of March. So 32 cents a month. In dividends, 32 times 12, $3.84 per year divided by 21.77. So as of right now, that's a 17.63% dividend. That's why I say 17.5%. It's a bit more on the conservative side. But as the fund fluctuates, like if we look at the low point that it was at, March 17th, we will see that as a percentage, this $3.84 was actually uh, 18%. So the dividend percentage fluctuates depending on the price of the fund because as we know dividend yield is a function of fund price and dividend amount now let's look at the golf fund so we'll compare these here then we'll go to the spreadsheet and we'll look at what these pay out in terms of a million bucks and when you see that it'll make you feel like a million bucks and feeling it as many people say is half the battle feeling positive hopefully that can attract money to us law of attraction so with the golf fund 1560 um and then the in the after hours we're up another 17 cents or one percent because this one's trading cheaper now one thing i want to point out here that's very important um you may think that you may say to yourself well why don't i just put that money into the golf fund because it's cheaper won't i get more shares and thus a higher dividend well, good question. Glad you thought that. 
but I actually did the math for you, and you're still going to be better off uh, in the SVOL, even though that one is higher, because at 2177, you'd be getting 45,934 shares, which is uh, 14,699 per month, which we'll see in the spread sheet, or 176,000. Now, if you sunk the same million dollars into the golf fund at the current price, 1560, you'd get more shares, but the problem is, is that uh, it pays less of a dividend. So you would only make 140,000 versus the 175,000. So you're still better off even with a more expensive fund. But if you thought up that question before I mentioned that, good question. I would even say great question. So as far as the golf fund, now most of you astute observers will notice that the golf fund currently seems to be overvalued because it's trading higher than its net asset value. If you look at the website, which I did in another video, I'm not going to do it in this video. Um, and so, yes, that is the case. But if you just want to get the dividend, you want to start getting the dividend now, you got to pay the price that it's at now. Which this one has been around, like I say, this one's been around since the before the Great Recession in 08 and 09. The worst that it did, it dropped down to $10 or $9 a share at the bottom of the market in 09. Um, and then it came back all the way to 22 and then 23.35 per share. But it's come down since then. So relatively speaking, it's kind of at a bargain right now compared to where it was like a year ago. So this one really is not a bad one to buy. And let's look at the dividend history. This is another one that has paid out solid dividends for the last like 15 years. I mean, it's been an absolute cash cow, so to speak, in terms of uh, dividends. So if we go to the maximum here, I mean, you'll be amazed to see that this fund, even during the Great Recession, this fund has never missed a dividend. And it pays 18 cents a month. And look at that solidly going back like years Going back, we're back like five years ago, and it's paid the same 18.2 cents. I mean, look at that. That's very rare that you see such consistency in a fund. Going all the way back, we're back to 2014, and it's been paying the same dividend. So look at this. I mean, so the last time it changed was actually in May of 2013. So almost for almost 10 years, it's been paying the same dividend, which is phenomenal. Very rare to see that in a fund. So this one, if you were going to pick this one, it is a solid choice, I must say. With all of that being said, let's go for my one live viewer. Let's go to the spreadsheet now. So I'm going to stop sharing this one. Now, it looks like we're actually going to come out of this banking crisis. Okay. I was a little concerned about a week ago. It looked like there was going to be more bank failures and stuff, but it seemed like uh, banks are kind of pooling together, uniting together, and uh, pooling, pooling deposits together to help support other banks. So as long as we don't have another 2008, I guess, good news on that front. As far as the merits of that, I'm not going to comment on that. I just would prefer the economy not to crash. However it's done, it's done. But like I say, I just want a good market to trade in. That's that's what I want. OK, so now with the spreadsheet, we go to SVOL, which happens to be at the top because it's one of our favorite funds. And the information here is probably going to be a little bit outdated because I did this video some time ago. So this divided by 45, 6, 20. Uh, this was 2192. It's actually going to be a little bit higher now because we're trading at uh, 2171. Right at 21. 71. So that's going to put us at 46,062 shares. The dividend, the 32 cents times 12, makes you a whopping 177,000, rounding up 177,000 per year. Now, going by the trailing 12 months, it's a little bit higher. That gives us 181,000, which gives us almost 15,000 per month, which is phenomenal. So the highest the dividend has been in this period was 35 cents per month. If it got to that, we could make up to 193,000 per month. But at the 32 cents, we're at 14,793 per month. And then another favorite example here, this is if you just reinvested at the 18%, which it's close to 18%. So we'll just keep these numbers. 
you would within six years double your money. So that's SVOL. Now let's move down our map here or our spreadsheet and find uh, the Golf Fund, which is going to be over here next to SCHD. So the Golf Fund, the same million dollars that you saved up all your life and you were going to sink it into one fund or two or a portfolio of them. Now, I base this one off $17, but what did we say? It's trading at $15 and change right now. So let me just confirm here because I already forgot what the price was. Uh, $15.60. That's right. Just need to see it again to remember. So that million dollars divided by $15.60 is going to net us 64,103 shares. And look at that. Our payout just went up over here. See that? We got a $13,000 raise. How about that? We weren't expecting that. And then the 18.2 cents per month times 12 nets us $2.18 in dividends. Or an even, and I like even numbers. And it's really coincidental, I guess, if you believe in coincidences. Um, don't look at the number below it. But it's coincidental that we came out with a nice even number, 140 thousand dollars per month just don't divide it by 12 because you'll get the number below anyway uh and then 18 cents like we said uh per month That's what we have per month i won't read that out loud because you can see that um 12.75 percent oh i need to fix this because see we dropped so you see this was 17 dollars and 10 cents when i did this video the first time but it's dropped to 1560 now. So it's really a 14% dividend. So, you know, that's really not bad. I mean, 140,000 per year, but I'd have to say in this situation, the clear winner still, the one that's in the lead is our SVOL, 176,000, because that's netting you like almost $37,000 more per year. So that one's really hard to beat. Uh, any comments or any questions from the live viewers, I'd be more than happy to entertain those now. Otherwise, just kind of uh, ruminate over what we've got on the screen here, because this is our clear winner, the SVOL. Um, that's pretty much all I wanted to cover this evening. So if you all like that, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and keep an eye out for uh, the next videos. I'm going to try to get back to daily videos. Tomorrow uh, is the podcast again. Um, I'm going to try to do that. I try to stick to every Wednesday for that. And I'm going to start having some more interesting guests on the podcast because what I'm doing, I'm getting a lot of people that reach out to me like on Facebook or other social media platforms with all these business ideas. So what I'm thinking, just in full disclosure, what I want to do, because if I spend time talking to these people anyway, I say, you know what? I would rather just talk to them on the podcast and let the whole audience hear what they have to say. And if it's such a great idea, the audience will like it. So I say, you know what? Come on the podcast. You have an hour to talk to 1,410 subscribers. You have a big audience, bigger than what you're getting on some of the other platforms. So just come on and pitch your idea and we can vet it. And if it turns out to not be such a good idea or if some people feel like it's scammy, we'll let the audience be the jury, right? So I really think that's a great idea and hope you all like that too. Anyway, thanks for tuning in today. And especially for those of you that are going to, that are going to watch this uh, after it's posted. Uh, thank you again and uh, take care and I'll see you tomorrow. Have a good evening.